just wanted to show you the, the next project which is Neilcher who's a chalk uh, just been imported from Zandam in Holland uh, over to sunny Kent so just show you around try and do a video diary of what we do to her and how it turns out it's in quite good condition uh, it's been a lot of work done on her by the previous owners but they've not been able to finish her off so this is how she is and hopefully we'll uh, do some more videos as we go step by step through I've taken a few bits and pieces off but this is how she is currently just all open I've taken one deck board off just to see what the state of the underside is and uh, as you can see it's a bit rusty but it's not too bad so uh, we will take some advice about what to do with that but there you go so far this is what she is looking like just a bed cut into the bulkhead um, a sea toilet a boiler on the wall and a shower which is there but there this is what she's like currently and hopefully you'll see what we do to her well hi welcome back to Nietzsche um, just wanted to do a little little piece to remind myself why I started this in the first place um, essentially it's a, it's a flat bottom boat and um, a guy in the boatyard told me you need to be able to see the bottom of the boat so um, I tried to take the boards up um, which all been stuck down and, and screwed every six inches uh, and then I realised that the, the walls or the sides of the boat had all been um, put on the floor as well so it all started to unravel at that stage um, and I also saw that everything was anchored to the hull by um, expanding builder's foam which um, is um, not the way forward for me anyway so um, I don't know cut a long story short uh, I decided to start from scratch and rip everything out which uh, some people uh, haven't seen what it was like before uh, I think I must be mad and I'm starting to question my own sanity anyway uh, starting it because um, it did look pretty good um, but um, we're going to put some well, I was trying to make this as nice as possible so you've got to start with firm foundations um, so net result is wasn't happy with everything being hidden behind the walls which is stuck down um, so I just decided to, to rip it all out and start from scratch um, yeah so so here we are uh, and they're, they're all good reasons for doing it but uh, in about a year's time when I'm pulling my hair out thinking why well, I haven't finished this is uh, it might be good to look back on this and, and remind myself why I started um, but anyway here we go and um, this is where we're about uh, well we're now beginning of 2020 so I've uh, probably done about I'd say two four weeks work on this boat I suppose um, and here we are but uh, we have a plan <clears throat> so I'll tell you what the plan is uh, another time but uh, there we go this is how far we got and uh, um, I'll speak to you soon there we go oh, last thing the last general thing of hatred is this shower tray which I didn't know what it was um, and now I do it's concrete uh, why you would make you would form a concrete shower tray when you can go and buy plastic one or whatever um, for like next to nothing I don't know but so that's next job is Kanga that out uh, and then we'll get ready and rip out the bathroom what's left and so anyway <laughs> New neighbours. Nineteen forty nine lifeboat. <laughs> 